Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Stephanie. Welcome back to another Daily Devotional. I'm so glad that you've joined me on this Wednesday. It's the middle of our week. I hope it's been a great week for you. You know, there was a pastor one time who was doing some wedding counseling with a couple that was excited about getting married. And this pastor was telling them all about all the things that they could do, that they could put into place to have a great marriage. But one of the things he said to them was, remember that it's in the day-to-day -day things that you make a great marriage. It's not the big trips, it's not the momentous events, it's not the big things that happen, but it's in the day-to-day. -day. It's in the little things where you find God and where you connect to one another. And that reminded me of a scripture from 1 Kings where Elijah is uh, wanting to hear from God. He wants to know what he is supposed to do. And so God comes and he passes by on the mountain where Elijah is. But you see, first, there's a big storm. There's a mighty earthquake. There's a big wind. There's a fire that comes through. But each time in this passage of 1 Kings, it says God was not in the earthquake. God was not in the fire. God was not in the storm. He was not in the wind. But then there was a still, small voice. And that's where God was. You know, sometimes in our lives, we look for the big things. We look for God to be in the really big events of our lives. And we think, well, that must be God because he's so big. That must be him. But friends, I hope that you remember today that it's in the little things. It's in the little things where we connect to God. It's in the day-to-day -day disciplines of reading our scripture, of taking time to pray, of taking time to listen to him where we find him in a still, small voice. It's in the little things. So friends, take time for those things today. Give God the opportunity to speak to you. You will hear him because he has promised that when we seek him, we will find him. And you can connect with him every moment of every day and be thankful for the little things because that's where we find life. I hope you have a great day today. I can't wait until we can be back together on June 21st for two services, 845 and 1045. We will get to see each other in person again. We will also have our services online for anyone who is not quite comfortable being back together yet. So we'll see it either way. But I will look forward to seeing you online again soon.